Okay, today is strike three. Look at these feathers. This is the third time this bobcat has come out and attacked these roosters. You see, you see the other guy, John? Okay, now this rooster also survived the attack. It's big red over there. I was upstairs, I heard some noise, I looked out and the bobcat was digging his teeth into his back. Somehow he pulled away. When Johnny and I came out and made some noise, the bobcat headed into those weeds. Now, the bad part about this is that he is getting more and more brazen. This is the chicken coop I've just finished. Travel trailer, the chicken coop conversion I done. And it's back here right now because the ground over there is too soft to get it back to where I want it. This may be, oh geez. This may be 10, 12 feet away from the house. That's about 12 feet away from the house. This is very close to the house. This bobcat is about two and a half feet long. And it's the third strike. He's hit these roosters the first time. He had one in his mouth and he ran off into the weeds. Everybody came out yelling and he dropped it. We thought we lost the rooster. But the following day, the rooster was back at his pen. The other day, I hear my wife, we're working on leveling this out back here. My wife comes running out of the patio door, about 15 feet away, right about where that cat is, that bobcat had another rooster in his mouth. When my wife yelling at him, he dropped the rooster and just snarled at my wife before he decided to run into those weeds over there. So this is the third strike he's made. And I'm missing a rooster right now. Oh no, there it is. One, two. Hey, John. Yeah. Do you have the, oh, there he is back there. I thought he came back when I wasn't out. There's the other rooster back there. So we have four of these roosters we let free range. The hens, we don't let out because of this. We were having a serious problem with hawks. They still come around, but because nothing's available, we don't see too many of them anymore. These girls are in their pen. They have access from, their pen happens to be my garden. I didn't have to do any work in the garden this year afterwards. And they, they have access to get in now. Hey, John, yeah? the door closed. Were you playing with this? Okay, I have to open that door over there so these hens can get in and out. And my other girls in the coop way back there, they won't even come out of the run. So they know something's out here because they've been hunkering down in the pen for over a month now. So this cougar's becoming a major threat and a major problem. The fact that he's coming so close to the house and has no fear of humans is, uh, I never seen anything like it. But anyway, this is just a quick video for today. Like I mentioned in a video about a month ago, I've been down for a couple of weeks and I'll be getting back to my uh, small engine DYIs hopefully sooner than later. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.